are some of the documents that you need to apply the visa you need your Ghanaian passport your Ghanaian passport will enable you to apply for the China visa okay so first of all you can go online that is visa for China dot CN and then you log on when you log in you fill in your particulars all right so this is in China for the first time I mean a country if I should visit any other countries in the world then it should be China it should start with China and it is happening now it is happening now the guy from the cottage the guy from the village is traveling to china soon guys welcome back to my youtube channel village boy here you can't see my eyes right you can't see my eye right <laughs> i'm super excited very very excited i just don't know what to how to express it for you to see it properly but then Along the line, I'm going to remove this uh, goggle for you to connect with me through my eyes. You get me? Because super excited. A country, you know, check it, check it out. A country that you've been dreaming all this while that you want to visit that particular country. Even if you are to travel across the world, that country should be the number one. And it is happening. Check the feeling. How how would you feel? Such an such such a moment is happening in my life. I've been dreaming about visiting China for the first time. I mean, a country, if I should visit any other countries in the world, then it should be China. It should start with China. And it is happening now. It is happening now. The guy from the cottage, the guy from the village is traveling to China soon. And today, you know, for you to be able to travel to any other country, outside your country you need some documents that will enable you that will certify you that you qualify to travel to any other countries but specifically in ghana here let me remove my goggles so that you can see my face <laughs> you welcome back again this is a new village boy yes the poker one okay anyways if you are in ghana you need your ghana card ghana card is very important if you don't have ghana card Trust me, you cannot not apply for your Ghanaian passport. You cannot apply for your police report. You cannot apply for so many stuff. You cannot even open bank account without Ghana card. You cannot open Momo account without Ghana card. So you need Ghana card. So what are some of the documents that or, uh, you can use to apply for the police report? So first of all, let's talk about the police report. The police report is a report that talks about you i mean it's a report that gives an impression to the country that you are visiting that you don't have any have any criminal records so if you are to apply for police report they want to find out if you don't have any criminal records okay and then they will give you they'll issue you with a police report that will help you to apply for uh, your visa so before you can apply for the police report here are the documents you need your ghana card your ghana card and then two passport pictures with red backgrounds and then a photocopy of your bio of your ghana ghanaian passport a photocopy of your ghanaian passport before you can get your police report so these are the documents that you need and you have to pay an amount of 116 ghana cities if you want express you pay the premium price so i did my own at a premium as a premium as premium so i paid 400 cities for me to get it within four this four working days all right and again before you can travel to any other country like i said you need a ghanaian passport a ghanaian passport yes so what are some of the documents that you need to be able to apply for the ghanaian passport number one you need your ghana card so if you want to apply for a ghanaian passport and you don't want to go to their office directly before you know putting in your filling your particulars and your details we have Ghana government uh, Ghanaian passport application portal. It is on the internet. You just go log on to the uh, what do you call it on the internet or into the portal, and then you fill in your particulars. You book an appointment. You go for your interview. If you meet the requirements as a citizen of this country, Ghana, you'll be issued with a Ghanaian passport. It can take. It can take. It depends on the amount of money you pay. All right, we have a minimum price though, but if you want premium service, you need to pay premium price. Okay, so it's a, it takes like three months for you to come. All right, if it is a minimum price, it takes three months for you to get your Ghanaian passport. 
right so now we've gotten ourselves the Ghanaian passport a police report and another one is his yellow yellow card this yellow card will allow the immigration service or the immigration personnel at the airport to allow you entry or, or you know allow you entry and so i've already talked about the ghana passports the police report now how do you apply for your visa you need to apply for visa to be approved before you can say that now i am confident that i'm traveling to china if i don't have visa and i have all these things there's no way i'll, I'll be able to travel to china all right you need visa and a visa approval it's is it's at the discretion of the china chinese embassy or the people at the Ch chinese embassy so what are some of the documents that you need to apply the visa you need your ghanaian passport your ghanaian passport will enable you to apply for the china visa okay so first of all you can go online that is visa china visa for china some i'll put the link right then let me know so visa for china dot cn and then you log on when you log in you fill in your particulars all right so some of the things that where is where is uh, i want to give you everything that you need here so your personal information application information work information education family travel info travel in the past info address and mailing info so with the mailing info that is where they can send it to you but then you have to walk into their physical location at the you know at the embassy and then pick your what do you call it your visa if it is ready or they approved but then the document i made mention that you need some document to be able to apply for the visa so after filling in your visa application on a visa portal on a chinese visa portal you are going to have a nine pages pages of your particulars it will be on nine pages okay make sure that you don't make mistake this filling in your particulars cross check if there are no mistakes because the moment you submit and print all the text you can't read it again except your name your date of birth and others all of them will change into chinese characters can you read chinese characters can you read chinese characters you myself that i've been learning chinese the ch characters are not easy so it will be very difficult to do corrections after printing the information or your uh, your what do you call it your visa application okay and, and then when you are going to the embassy for the visa application you've applied it online but then you have to go to the embassy to continue with the application process okay so you send the printed copy of the visa application to the embassy together with two passport pictures white backgrounds and you definitely need a picture a passport picture with a white background but the shirt shouldn't be white and that you you need it in a in a in feeling of a online application uh, online process okay so you need that that is a soft copy you need that and then you can choose either diplomatic ordinary special or other you know you when you log into the portal just follow the procedure but then you need the date of birth of your mother and your father it's very important so if you don't know the date of uh, what you got the birth date of your father or your mother kindly get to know before starting the application okay because all these documents all the information you are filling will determine if your visa application is going to be approved for you to get your visa and so i did my own my own i selected express so express there's an amount of uh, money that you're supposed to pay so we paid 191 dollars 191 dollars is equivalent to 3000 ghana cities it's equivalent or even more than 3000 ghana cities yes yeah, so that is that this money that you've paid is non-refundable meaning that if it even if they deny you your visa there's no way you are going to get your money back all right so when you apply for visa keep praying that it comes they grant you the visa and then now you have so after your visa application is approved then you have the opportunity to go to the to your very most admirable country that you've been dreaming for all right then you can go like myself china if my visa application is approved but but it's going to be approved approved because this is a summer camp and we are going in the name of the institute i mean the institute confucius institute at the university of cape coast in the name of ucc so definitely it's going to be approved and so i just want to share this with you so that any of you who may be applying or who may be thinking of 
traveling to any other country you need these documents to enable you to travel to such country okay so i believe this is helpful if it is helpful consider subscribing and sharing it to your network there are going to be a lot of videos series of videos i mean my impressions my cultural shocks in china my first time a whole lot of things you are going to be seeing tourist size school campuses interviews back and forth are going to be seeing a lot so stick and stay this is just a preliminary this is just a token just to kiss you yeah no good view Thank you so much for making time. Village Boy here. I salute you all. Peace out.